This is a story that was told by Abdul Baha, who was the eldest son of Baha'u'llah and served as head of the Baha'i faith from 1892 until 1921. A great king, walking in his garden one day, noticed a man about 90 years old planting some trees. The king asked what he was doing, and the old man answered that he was planting date trees. How long before they will bear fruit? asked the king. Twenty years. But you will not live to enjoy the fruit. Why then should you plant these trees? The old man answered, The last generation planted trees that bore fruit for my benefit. So it is now my duty to plant for the benefit of the next generation. The king was pleased at this answer, so gave the man a piece of money. The gardener fell on his knees and thanked him. The king asked, Why do you kneel before me? Because, your majesty, not only have I had the pleasure or a gift of planting these trees, but they have already borne fruit since you gave me this money. This so pleased the king, he gave the man another piece of money. Again the old gardener knelt, saying, Again I kneel to thank your majesty. Most trees will bear fruit only once, while these trees of mine have already borne two crops, since you give me two pieces of money. The king smiled and asked, How old are you? The man answered, I am twelve years old. How can that be? You are surely a very old man. The gardener answered, In the days of the king, your predecessor, the people were in a most unhappy state of constant warfare and trouble. So I cannot include that as part of my life. But since your majesty came to rule, the people are happy, contented and at peace. Therefore, as it is but twelve years since your gracious reign began, I am only twelve years old. This pleased the king so very much that perforce he gave the old man another piece of money, saying, I shall have to leave you now, for your words please me so greatly that if I listen to you longer, I shall become a pauper. The selfless thinking of the old gardener, along with his humble and pleasant demeanor, was enough to unlock the generosity of the gracious king. How much more will we receive spiritual blessings and bounties from the king of realities, the most generous, the all bountiful, when we concentrate our efforts on the benefit of others? Let us then be conscious of how we can be of a practical benefit to those around us and future generations for that is a sign of our maturity as individuals and as a species.